multiplication, everyone. <laughs> this episode has shown us, us Adrianette shippers, that Adrian is finally starting to realize the feelings he has had for Marinette since season one. Finally! I have been waiting years! I have been waiting years for Adrian to realize his feelings. I will not say that Adrian knows he has a crush on Marinette. He's more of like in this weird state where he's realizing how special and important Marinette is to him. But I would not say that he knows he has a crush on her. But his actions are speaking so loud. His actions are speaking volumes. Okay, let's talk about Adrian's actions toward Marinette in this episode. The whole Adrianette stuff starts when Adrian decides to take Marinette's advice and tells his dad, I don't want to be a model anymore. And then Gabriel is just like, okay, like sure. I was legitimately surprised that he was so chill about that, but okay, it's kind of sus. Anyway, Adrian is excited and decides to FaceTime Marinette to tell her the news. Actually, maybe it would be more like Face Talk, the off-brand. <laughs> So there are some things that Adrian told Marinette over the phone, which are very, um, convincing of Adrian's crush. All right, let's start. So one, he said his life would be different without her. Two, he expresses his gratitude for her always being by his side and giving him advice. And three, he says that she's special. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the fourth thing Adrian says. He says one day he wants to do as much for Marinette as she has done for him. Can you imagine in future episodes, Adrian and Marinette are at school and Adrian goes out of his way to help Marinette or, you know, thinks about her throughout the day. For example, maybe Adrian gets up to grab some papers and then he grabs an extra handout and brings it to Marinette. That's kind of a lame example, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just considering the possibilities, okay? The fifth thing Adrian says is that he tells Marinette to sleep well. Like, why does that remind me of a good night text? Like, do you know what I mean? Now, Marinette and Adrian end the call, and Marinette is actually the one who is filling in Adrian's shoes, telling Alia that he's just a high school friend, which is fair. She's trying to move on from Adrian because of her responsibilities. But as for Adrian, after he got off that call, he sighs and says, Marinette is so special. Bro, he is exposing his whole heart right there. Like, then we have Plague being Adrian's logical side because apparently Adrian can't figure out his own feelings for himself. So Plague tells Adrian, if you keep insisting that she's just your friend with that little smile on your face, you're as fake as pasteurized cheese. Which dang Skippy, you are right, Plague. Adrian has been pasteurized cheese for a long time. <laughs> because he has been rejecting feelings for Marinette for like forever. For example, Origins 2, Plague suspects that Adrian and Marinette had a connection and said, first day of school and we already have two lovebirds, to which Adrian says that she's just a friend, of course. And then we also have Frozer where Adrian ditches Kagami and Plague says, you're supposed to be in love with Ladybug and now you ditch Kagami to go after Marinette. Plague has known for a long time that Adrian has liked Marinette, but Adrian is now figuring it out for himself. Is everybody else freaking out with me? I can't imagine anybody just watching Multiplication with a straight face and just like nodding their head emotionless. But even though Adrian doesn't know he has a crush on her, we can see that Adrian wants to be close to her. And we see that in the next scenes where he goes to give her the French greeting where you exchange kisses on the cheek. Marinette rejects it and goes for a handshake while Adrian decides the next day, hmm, let me try again and gets rejected again. But still, he hasn't learned his lesson enough. Third time's the charm. So he tries again. Don't you think you're exposing yourself just a little bit too much for one episode. To be fair, Adrian knows Marinette is awkward, so maybe he just assumes, oh, that's just the way she is. But you think he would start getting the hint, you know? And by the way, I know some people will think, oh, it's just a French greeting. It does not mean that he has feelings for her. But let me just rebuttal that. In this case, it's more than just a greeting because one, Adrian is doing this out of the blue. He never gives Marinette a greeting until now after he's discovering how special Marinette is to him. And two, he passes by Nino and Alia and he doesn't give them a kiss, just a fist bump, poor them. And three, Adrian gives her an awkward smile before he goes in. And tell me if I'm wrong, but I swear, Adrian's cheeks look kind of pink, like he's blushing. 
around Marinette. I'm so happy. I've been waiting for this day. And Adrian trying to kiss Marinette totally matches up with the episode Risk. As we saw Adrian, you know, grab Marinette's hand. I'm thinking these scenes are showing Adrian's desire to be close to her. If you don't believe me that Adrian is showing his real feelings and is starting to have a crush on Marinette, um, maybe you need some more proof. So, Okay, I'll give that to you. Oh, let's go. Gloob on Instagram is not being subtle about this episode. On one of their posts, it says, proof that season five is a miraculous parallel universe. And then they show a photo of Adrian that says, Adrian is liking Marinette. They're literally confirming it for us. And then there's another post where they show the scene where Adrian says Marinette is special after they talk on the phone and they write in text, is the reverse love square here? And I think they're hinting to us that Adrian is falling for Marinette. Time for me to go cry, go have a crying session. Out of happiness, obviously, but I need some time to adjust to the reality that Adrian is finally not being as oblivious. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching and lazy out.